<laughs> All right, we're gonna do a bit of a shop update video. We haven't done one in a little while, so our super project, we finally got it sorted. We struggled with the clutch on it. We've got pretty much everything sorted out and we'll be going out for a road test here. I'm just waiting on some insurance. And then once we get plates on it, we're gonna take it out. I've kind of taken it around a neighborhood real quick and it feels, we're a little concerned about compression, but it feels really strong. So I'm excited to get this thing on the dyno. And of course we'll video that and we'll see what this thing actually makes. The next one is the old new, not the old new, damn it. <laughs> Uh, Miles Works? Miles Works. <laughs> our, our Miles Works project is going to go back on the roster because we finally got the wheels for it. Well, actually the wheel hoops. So we're pretty excited about that. Now we can get this one finished up. Then my slant nose project, we're still waiting on interior pieces. And then that'll be done. I got a couple of few things to do under the hood. So this one should be done hopefully in the next week or so, and then we can get it out. I've actually registered for a Porsche Purist meet. Purist meet. Purist meet. <laughs> Coming up. Oh. So I think that's gonna be some fun video content for you guys. We're yeah. gonna make sure we get some reactions. Yeah, can, I was telling you, Rob, we can put like secret GoPros in it. Yeah, we need to, because we're gonna roll into like, and just beat up some purists. Like I can't wait to see, like I'm actually excited about it. And then following that one, in the next, I think it's in September, is sort of our hard deadline for me to get this up and running and driving because I'm going to do a similar thing with that. There's actually a all Mercedes meet that I want to roll this into. The Mercedes guys aren't near as hateful as the Porsche guys, but so we'll see how that goes. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if we can sneak through here. Our 67 Corvette project is we're waiting on parts kind of like everybody else and this as frustrating as it is we're just waiting on bolts but if you're in this deep you don't want to start making compromises especially on a car like this that's numbers matching and carries a huge value so we got it all cleaned up and we're just waiting for that so this is actually original okay so oh, wow. as nice as it looks all we have left to do to this one is a little bit of rust converter and this one has to stay like period correct factory so we can't do it too nice which is kind of counterintuitive for us because we like to take it all the way but this one is all original so it'll get a little bit of rust converter and then we'll just touch up the frame in a few spots and then it should be perfect we'll go see what sarah's working on because what she's working on is a little different than normal uh, another cool little thing we're working on that's fun is along, more along the lines of the resto mod is this Cadillac we're taking out the sort of the antiquated fuel injection and putting a new fuel injection in it so this one is waiting on a couple little pieces that, but this one will be fun when it's done I tried to talk them into a twin turbo LS but he wasn't having it <laughs> oh. then we're gonna go see Sarah and what she's working on but I'll let her tell you because this is not my jam at all. This um, is... this is for Tim, actually. No, this is not for me. <laughs> White and orange. That White and orange. Awesome. This is for the uh, Scooby-Doo Mobile. The, what's I it don't called? know what he calls it. This is for Clint from Craftsman Tattoo. He has a boogie van. So this is a little bit of a departure from what we normally do, but he's been tattooing me for 20 years. So I couldn't really say no but Sarah has to actually execute it. And what I've learned on this project is that uh, Boogie Van is not a shagging wagon. <laughs> no, it is. It is a shagging wagon. You can't say you that, You can't though. say that anymore. It's not politically correct. I don't even know if you can call it Boogie Van. What do you call it now? It's a Boogie Van. No, like For Boogie. It was shagging wagon, Yeah. but now we're all more mature, so I think it became Boogie Van is its actual genre, but maybe that's not even right anymore. It's a magical mystery bus. Yeah, there you go. Magical we'll, mystery bus. We'll What's call it? it the mystery machine. Yeah, the mystery machine. <laughs> it's for the mystery machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> scooby doo doo And... What else that's is it. going on? Uh, well, this is... Oh, well, you can look at what the seat lo used to look like here, if you're interested in that. But this is what I've been doing the last couple days. So that's the old one. And that's the, you know, what I made the pattern from. And then this is where we're at now. So hopefully I'll finish those this afternoon. Just lie. Yeah, yeah perfect. Awesome. Yeah, just lie. <laughs> That'll be done today. 
For sure. <laughs> <laughs> this time for sure. And then this is uh, our next project that we're going to start on a 50s Ford truck. And uh, yeah, the customer is very, very tall. So he stretched it, stretched the cab nine inches so that he could fit. So it's extra wide. Yeah. Extra so long. Full interior on this one? Yep. Full interior on this one. So that's going to be starting next. And then this is one we're just finishing up right now that's going home very quickly. Whoa, that looks awesome. Whoa, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, so we just have to put the front seat in, put the front seat together, uh, put it in, clean it all up. It's got a complete full interior. Check out the headliner in it too. It's so just, cool. it is Whoa. very, very white, which means it can't get dirty. Oh my gosh. So, yep, that's yeah. that'll be ready to that go. Too clean. ASAP as well. Very that's clean. glorious. Yeah. <laughs> so it just needs to be finished up, put together, cleaned up, and then that's ready. What else? <laughs> what are you doing? What have you done? Hold on. I can't fight him because he's been taking boxing lessons. And then I, I was also working on, uh, just waiting for the customer to pick this up. Okay. Just a motorcycle seat that I redid for her with some gel. So that was fun. I love doing motorcycle seats. And that's your motorcycle. And that's my motorcycle. Yep. And then as soon as I epoxy the, uh, I know Tim's gonna Tim's gonna kill me. We're he needs new turn it. signals. Yes. I. Uh, but she has many other projects we have to work on first. The bike is right now. Her car currently sounds like snakes. <laughs> so, I, so we're gonna get that sorted out first, and then we'll readdress snakes that. Snakes in the car. My other bike wouldn't run. We just got to get rid of the snakes. New turn signals, and I got all the vehicles ready to go. Sweet. That's it. Okay, now we'll go to the other shop and see what we're doing down there. Okay, we're down at the lower shop. Uh, one of the big ones we've been working on that has been a little bit of a challenge is we have a 992 in and we took a little tech art add-on wing and turned it into a little mini ducktail. So this one's kind of cool, but it's all done and it's gonna be leaving today. Another one that we haven't really talked a huge amount about is we painted this little MGB GT. So this one's been painted and they're just doing assembly on it now. Then it's gonna go up to the upholstery shop and they're gonna get it all trimmed out. It's actually getting a red interior. If you look back to previous videos, we did an Aston Martin DB5 in this same silver with a red interior, like a burgundy wine color. This is essentially a clone of the Aston Martin. So he fell in love with that car and then brought us, a friend of his brought us this car and we're just copying it. And beyond that, we're back on our wide body RSR car. The guy's got the sunroof welded in because he wants it to be a slick top. And then we're gonna get started on body work. And there's a few other little things going on, but we'll see that for the next video. So like, subscribe, view, all those things. <laughs>